So Rombauer Vineyard was founded in 1980 uh, by Kona Rombauer. Kona was a, an airline pilot for Braniff Airlines and he came to Napa Valley because this was somewhere he wanted to raise his family. Kona got bitten by the wine bug and uh, that was the late 70s. In 1980, he started Rombauer Vineyards. A little while after he started Rombauer, Braniff Airlines, his employer, went out of business and he basically had to make it work. So it was a make it or break it story. That was 37 years ago and now Rombauer Vineyards is a quite a successful family owned and genuine American winery. You know, I grew up in uh, Sydney, Australia, and my earliest memories have been at my uncle's house around Christmas and my family opening bottles of champagne and like popping corks in the backyard in the middle of summer, which is Christmas in Australia, and running after corks. And, and everybody knows the pop of a champagne cork, and that's probably my earliest memory is champagne corks popping and running after them and trying to get them before my uncle's dog got them. <laughs> we describe our wines as uh, quintessential American. So our Chardonnay is a uh, benchmark Chardonnay for California Chardonnay, and our Cabernets and red wines are very distinctly Napa Valley. You can very much tell the wine's specific character based on its region. And that diversity of flavour and texture, that sense of place is, you know, that's what I love about wine. I would say cork is essential for good wine. If you look at all the great wines of the world, nothing ages the same way as a cork and nothing has the lifespan of a cork. The way the wine develops on the cork is unique and it's sustainable. You know, cork is a natural product. It comes from the bark of a tree, which seems to surprise a lot of people, I don't know why. But you harvest cork from a tree and it can live for well over a century. Going to a cork forest is the most exciting things I've ever done as a winemaker. This sense of history and time, after generation after generation, and the trees just keep giving and giving and giving. 